The Urban League of Eastern Massachusetts will hold its sixth annual community conference and job fair on June 1st. This will be at the Reggie Lewis Center in Roxbury. To tell us what's planned for this year's event is our guest from the league, the Director of Workforce Development, William Watkins. Uh, thank you very much for being with us again, William. Yes, yes, it's a pleasure. It's this time again, huh? Yeah, and, and you've got uh, quite a lineup. You've got some uh, people out there who are, who are looking to fill some positions. So talk about what kind of jobs are we going to be talking about here. Well, we have the healthcare industry that will be there, the financial industry, uh, engineering industry. We have Raytheon, State Street Bank, Eastern Bank, um, the, the Massachusetts uh, Conference uh, um, Center will be there as well. Um, so they're looking for talented people. And like you said, this is a sixth annual. We generally attract anywhere between 500 to almost 800 people to the event. Um, mostly come from metropolitan Boston. Uh, we did another um, uh, reach out this year to a lot of the colleges because this falls around the graduation season. So we did a heavy push to a lot of the colleges this year. The city is looking to hire people too, right? A absolutely, absolutely. There are quite a few jobs uh, in the city that they're trying to uh, fill. Uh, you know, one of the mandates of the city is to try to diversify its workforce. I know for a couple of years or so, that has been a, a challenge for the administration, but they're doing a heavy out, uh, outreach and push to do that. Now, I know you're talking about there are a lot of skilled jobs uh, in addition to the city, but there's some other uh, employers with something something to offer. You've got uh, UPS, uh, United States Postal Service, and Airbnb. A absolutely. I mean, we have a, 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 a large array of different industries that will be in the building that that day. And I think it, it bodes well to even see that the city has these, these different um, industries in play. Because a, a lot of times when you look at jobs in the city, it's either going to be one of the government jobs or in the healthcare industry. But we have jobs in the finance industry, engineering. So there are a wide array of jobs that will be available for people to seek out. And finance, uh, I, I guess this could mean jobs that people coming right out of college could fill. Uh... Absolutely. That's why we this year we put a heavy emphasis on reaching out to a lot of the college graduates uh, that are coming out. Because one of the things we want to do, we want to keep that talent in the city. We don't want a lot of these uh, great institutions of higher learning to uh, train these young people and then all of a sudden, you know, they go back to their homes or they tend to say, hey, well, I'm going to go elsewhere. So we're trying to do our, our best to bring the best and brightest to, to, to the job fair. This is BNN News, and we're talking with William Watkins from the Urban League of Eastern Massachusetts. Uh, William, what should people bring, I mean, people who are looking for jobs, what should they have with them? How should they dress? I, I would say, you know, you have to come there prepared for an interview. You don't know what may happen that day. We will have uh, areas available for companies to interview people right on the spot, bring tons of um, resumes. Uh, matter of fact, between 10 and uh, 12 o'clock, we have the community conference. During that conference, there will be different workshops for the job seekers on different areas, uh, how to brand yourself, uh, how to do a, um, a resume, job search, um, we're going to have one on uh, the elevator pitch. So when you're in front of that employer at 1 o'clock, you've got your elevator pitch down. Because uh, you only have but a, a few seconds um, to, to entice them to say, hey, I want to uh, sit down with this person. And uh, one of the things I should also bring up that... It even beyond this event, uh, you're always looking for new ways to get people ready for the job market. And one of the things you're looking at is coding. We've heard a lot about coding for, for children, but I guess this is for adults, right? Yes, um, we're embarking on uh, training adults in coding. Uh, for a few years now, you hear a lot about STEM. And when they talk about STEM, they talk about it from the vantage point of a person from kindergarten to 12th grade, or someone who's in community college or college. But we know, um, the Urban League knows, in 2008, a lot of individuals lost their jobs. And those individuals are parents of those young people that are being trained in the STEM. 
But the industry needs workers right now. There's a shortage of uh, computer programmers in that area. Not only that, but to diversify that workforce. It's very few uh, African Americans that are in that space. So we're embarking on uh, our program called Msimbo. Msimbo means uh, code in Swahili. So it'll be a 20 week program that we're going to offer uh, to adults um, at no cost. A lot of um, coding boot camps cost anywhere between $1,400 to $14,000. So we're going to be able to offer the uh, program for free. No, a, a lot of people might think, oh, coding, only, only college grads can handle that. But can, can you get uh, people into this program who can benefit from it, even if they haven't been to college? A absolutely. You, you know, um, let's be real. The Mark Zuckerbergs of the world, they didn't finish college. They have a high school diploma. So, yes, uh, people who have the passion for this sort of work, I, I think a 20-week program will suit them well. We should uh, finally remind our viewers as far as the, the, the job fair and conference. This is going to be on June 1st, and what time does that start exactly? All right. The uh, community conference starts from 10 to 12, and at 1 o'clock, the job fair itself begins. And they can go to uh, Eventbrite. Uh, to uh, register for the conference is six, the number six, T H J R B C C dot eventbrite dot com.